to start the day with the very beginnings of the peanut gallery and I need to extend this hide backwards because yesterday there was a incident that I had to end. I'm going to make them Fort Knox. I don't care how much I have to spend. Nobody's going to die here. We got someone already saying, thank you, Amy. When I moved in, there were more hawks, way more hawks than there are now. Making things better. Right, made a modification. It's not the best, but we're dealing with what we got at the moment. Um, they always love when I make this stuff. Wow. They always know it's for them, too. Okay, so, yeah, I kind of moved that so they could still get in there, but they can duck behind here in an emergency and get in and around there. thought just putting a roof over their heads and making them hidden would be good enough but if the hawk sees him go in then he's going to try to get in there is what I saw yesterday so yeah, we're going to have to have more Fort Knox the squirrels have shown me frequently like the kind of things they want in a hive by the way they use it like I would see them if I if they wanted an opening somewhere I'm looking I'm not trying to torture them I'm looking for that um <laughs> okay, so the squirrels would show me like they'd go in a hide and then they would tap their nose where they wanted an opening or whatever. You know, they would try to move it with their paws. And they would they would do motions that would show me what they wanted. Um, but yesterday, someone who's not my friend showed me what the squirrels need because a hawk was trying to get at somebody in here. And... That was before I'd created this whole addition. So the hawk was right here and he was craning his neck in this stupid freaking beak in there trying to get at a poor little squirrel who was hiding from him. He's gonna realize he messed with the wrong squirrels because they're a lot smarter than he is. They've enlisted the help of a human to help them thrive. So now this area where he was trying to get in the side here and get at them, he can no longer get in there. Squirrels can't, hawks can't. So they're going to be protected in there to move back and forth between these chambers. And um, yeah, what happened yesterday will never happen again. We just got called into a false alert. The birds started it. They freaked out. The birds freaked out that the neighbors started their car and then the squirrels responded to the bird alert and this squirrel is already hiding right in there, which is perfect. It was a false alarm, but it shows that he knows what to do in the case that this were a real emergency. Still staying safe, but eating a peanut.
This was the hide that taught me that they want to be able to get down inside. I, I keep rearranging this. I think I just made it too thin again. Can you get down in there easy? I probably can. That's Jessie James. She has a little hawk thing going on on the back. Um, this is Tupac. She never takes from the hand, but she... There she goes! Wow, look at her go. She's gotten brave in the last couple days. And there was a squirrel up here trying to move the pieces with her hands. And she was trying to make them farther apart to let her be able to get down in there. That's how I learned that they, they want to be able to dive down from the top. Okay, this is it. I got a rock that was doing something else. Now it's doing that. And then they can fit down into here. Um, they get coverage from hawks visibility and um, I think that rock looks pretty cool yeah so that one's done again Okay, Woozy, you've got fans. You've got fans. You've got people who love you. Here you go. Here you go. That's got to make him feel good, you know? How many squirrels are internationally known? That's pretty cool. Yeah, Woo. videos do you enjoy? Nuts? Also nuts. 